afternoon, as I had hoped to um, come back, and, and as I said last week, I was hoping to come back and say we we're 2-0. and Fortunately enough, we are 2-0, and something that uh, this, uh, this team has not uh, experienced, and uh, we're definitely um, they're very excited about it. And uh, I told the girls, I said, go ahead and enjoy the weekend. Um, but um, one of my favorite parts of the year is, is what we call Shocktober, uh, and that is uh, we've been having some meets this week, but now we have a week left. Uh, where I can, we have actually three weeks off, um, so we can actually now get to the, really the heart of our training and really take the success we've had to this point and kind of um, work on, on extending that and, and making it a little bit greater. This is where the, really the, the meat of our season and really um, getting the girls to learn how to race better and, and have better of a strategy kind of comes in play. So it's not, not much fun for them this, for the next three weeks, but um, as a coach, you know, that's kind of a, a fun time for us. Uh, so we're looking forward to that, um, but uh, the meet was very exciting. Um, I I will I say I probably overcoached um, prior to the week to prepare for this one, um, knowing how important it was to our girls to to get such a good good start. Um, but we uh, we came there very very prepared. Um, overall, the swimming and the, and diving itself probably wasn't we weren't with the outcomes, um, the times, and the scores. We probably were were kind of understood because we're pretty we're getting kind of beat up but uh, weren't necessarily as fast as they were a week ago in some cases um, but the one thing that we excelled in more than others and, and really what wins meets is the racing the girls came out re with a refusing to let South Dakota beat them you know whether it was the the short races or the long races it came down when it came down to a, a close finish our girls tend to get the hand on the wall a little bit quicker than they did uh, and hence the the scoring more points and, and winning the meet and, and it was very very fortunate for us that's a part of, of swimming that you can't really can't really teach it you can't teach people to race and have that hunger and drive and one thing that I am very impressed with this team is there was an incredible drive to win and to be successful and, and the pride that they have for their school for their teammates uh, that really showed uh, last Saturday and, and it was an exciting time and very fun for uh, the girls as well as the fans and then another great turnout uh, as I'm not surprised anymore because uh, it's getting to be a lot of, a lot of fun to, to uh, show up to the pool on, on meet week, meet games or meet days and, and seeing really a, a great performance. Some of the highlights, um, we were able to win 13 of the 16 events, which is um, which was great. You know, came out in the first relay, so I'm great. Um, then kind of followed up with winning the 1,000 with Rachel Seibeneller. Um, they have a very talented uh, freestyler who won the 200 freestyle, but we did our job in, in making sure we came back and and got second and fourth um, following that, and so kind of minimized the damage there. Um, onto our backstroke and breaststroke. Um, Afton Fife, who's in a different role this year, she's spending more time in the backstroke than she was. You know, she's our school record holder in the 50, the 100, and the 200. Now she's spending time doing backstroke. Wins the wins the 100 backstroke. We went on to Veronica Herman won the 100 breaststroke. Uh, we were fortunate enough to go. Actually, we went one, two, three in the 100 breaststroke, and then turn around the next event, go one, two, three in the 50 freestyle for the second straight week. Um, moving into diving where um, they have a diver who is very well one of the best divers in the country and our top two girls went ahead and beat her on the one meter. Uh, so everything was moving in the right direction. Uh, got to the second half of the meet and we just kind of continued to, to uh, follow through and um, have just great performances across the board with from, you know, from Taylor Ostrowski winning um, the 200 butterfly uh, as well and then Stephanie Jackson winning the 100 butterfly. You know, Molly Lembazeter continues to thri thrive, and uh, when well, she was our Missouri Valley Swimmer of the Week last week, uh, she won the events that she was supposed to be in. She was in two relays and uh, two individual events, won them all. Um, and so success is definitely uh, something this team is getting used to, and hopefully we'll see a lot more of. Uh, any questions? Yeah. Do you have a three-meter diver? We do. The same girls do th one meter to three oh. meter, um, and their, their diver won the three meter. Our girls got second and third. So we'll, we'll be happy with that. Um, we will, will not rest all the way until um, probably the, well, it's, it's a long process. We'll probably start at the beginning of the year. I, I, I kind of have a long, a slow resting process. So everything from the first of the year on until um, the end of February will be a, what we call our resting phase. And um, hopefully we'll see a lot, what the ideal plan is that will continue to swim faster and faster uh, throughout those months. We kind of build up until then, break them down, and then we kind of use that time to to get them prepared for our conference meet. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. I got a couple weeks off, so uh, I'll see you then. <laughs>